I'm going to try a different type of wrap on my ice tools this season. Let's talk about what the wrap is and why I'm intrigued by it. Hello, I'm Jason. I've seen ice climbers use hockey tape, tennis wrap, and even bike tire tubes to wrap their ice tools. This season, I'm going to experiment with something else. For the next few months, I'm going to be using 3M gripping material on my ice tools. Once those few months are over, I'll report back and tell you what I've learned. But for today, I'll introduce the material to those of you who are unfamiliar with it and mention a few reasons why I think it's worth a try. I think it's easiest to think of 3M gripping material as something that started down the path of being a hook and loop material like Velcro, but stopped short. Basically, it's shorter and softer versions of the hook side of the hook and loop idea. Tiny fingers of material jut out from the surface, and when confronted with another surface with the same fingers, we get additional friction. Therein lies one catch. While this stuff works okay on just the ice tools, I should get significant additional benefit if it is also on my gloves. Well, we can get gloves with the material as well. Now, the gloves aren't ideal in terms of dexterity like the golf gloves competition climbers use, but they certainly aren't horrible. They are basically medium weight leather, like a belay glove that would be on the thinner side. Obviously, I don't want a glove that is too thick or I'll have to be over gripping and will burn out my grip strength. On the flip side though, I need a glove that is warm enough to get me up routes in cold conditions. So I'm going to try at least two different setups. First, just a liner glove inside of the 3M glove, but I also bought a 3M glove that is far too large and will try it over my Showa 28202 Temris, which are a waterproof rubber with both a gauntlet cuff and insulation inside. The former setup will be for dry and relatively warm conditions. As things get more gnarly, I'll try out the latter setup. If that seems overly complicated, let's talk about why I think it's worth a shot. So let's talk about friction coefficients. Here's a list of material pairs and their common friction coefficients. Loosely speaking, a coefficient of 1.0 means that it takes as much force to move an object sideways over a surface as it would to pick the object up. So a coefficient more than one means that we have to exert more force to move the object sideways than gravity is exerting on it. To put it in terms climbers might be able to relate to, here is an older study that a Northwestern University physics professor did on climbing shoe rubber. Imagine the feeling of your shoes on gym holds. Well, that's somewhere just over a 1.0 friction coefficient. Moving further up the scale, drag racing tires have a coefficient of friction just under two. The wheels get additional grip though through instant torque that deforms the tires and the downward force on the car from the aerodynamics. Well, 3M claims a friction coefficient of 3.0 when both the glove and the wrap are used in concert. And a study conducted independently but paid for by 3M, so let's take it with a grain of salt, concluded that the combination when used in batting gloves and on baseball bats increased swing speeds by 4.4% because not strangling the bat means more whip-like motion in the swing. Uh, just like we need to do with ice tools at the end of our swings, freeing the hands and wrists to flick the pick into the ice. It is also worth noting that the material has been tested and has apparently performed in wet conditions and is also given a temperature range down to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. All that is promising. And speaking of promising, my initial sense of feel is that the material finds the right balance between having a little squishy give, which both gives me a tactile response to how hard I am gripping before I'm squeezing so hard that I'm pushing on the unforgiving metal, and also allows me to hold the tool in my teeth if I were switching hands in a competition setting. Oh, you can watch a whole video I did on different hand switching techniques and the pros and cons to each. There's a link in the description. Finally, I should mention that I selected the 3M400 material, the firmest option, due to its superior durability. There are other softer options that could be tried out as well. So we'll see how the glove setups, tape durability, and performance when iced over all play out over this season, and then I'll let you know. But maybe you'd be interested in trying this experiment yourself and comparing findings? Do you have any non-traditional gear items you employ? 
let us know about one in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and share if you want to support us. For more information, you can go to our website at www.shortguysbetaworks.com. You can check out that video I mentioned about changing hands with your ice tools, or maybe check out our short intro to ice climbing series. We'll see you next week and keep on getting more out of that big outside.